Welcome to the Pilates Show Monday, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates body and brain into the real world. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and today we're gonna to be talking about multitasking. So we're gonna get some gum, teeth, tongue health, as well as doing some hip and pelvic work. So let's get started on making the ingredients for our coconut swish that is antimicrobial, antibacterial, that is going is a, is a daily solution for gum, teeth, and mouth health. So you'll get your coconut oil. You want um, virgin coconut oil because it gives you that taste of coconut, which I really enjoy. You can also get the refined kind, but in my book, this is the best. And you'll add some essential oil if you'd like, but make sure that it's therapeutic essential oil that um, you can ingest. So I'm using the Young Living Thieves Oil that is a, a nice blend of a lot of different oils that help us, especially during these winter months. So you'll take a spoonful of your coconut oil and then you can just put one or two drops. And this thieves oil is pretty potent, so you don't wanna put a lot. So just one or two drops into the coconut oil. There we go. And then I like for mine to sit for a little bit. Now, once you put this in your mouth, you're gonna swish it for 20 minutes. And so the, the problem is, because I like to do this every day, the problem is what do you do during that 20 minutes? I wanna be productive, I wanna get something done. So a lot of times what I do is I work on my feet, my hips, and my pelvis. I'll set the timer for 15 or 20 minutes, um, swishing the oil while I'm doing this work. So let me show you the exercises because once I put the oil in my mouth, I'm not gonna be <laughs> able to talk. So what I like to start with is a little bit of foot opening. And I really like to use my bamboo foot massager, but I know a lot of people don't have this. So you can also use your half foam roller because it's sort of the same shape. It's not as precise as your bamboo foot massager, but it does the work, does the trick. So there's tons of stuff that you can do as far as footwork on this bamboo foot massager, but just to make it really simple, I like to have something that I'm holding on to, put my feet over the bamboo foot massager and just do a little kneading. So talking to the arches of my feet, getting in heavy in one foot and the other foot as I kind of knead down the arch of my foot towards my heel, and then doing the same thing, going back to the balls of my feet. And as I go to the balls of my feet, just letting my heels just drip to the floor. So just going back and forth a few times, really softening my arches, getting my feet ready, as well as my lower leg and my upper leg and my hip for a little bit of intense hip um, and pelvic floor work. So after I've done that a few times, then I get um, a, either a yoga block or what I'm using today, which I'm really enjoying, is the new Balance Body Moonbox Light. This is fabulous. It's fabulous to have in the studio and at home. So, but you know, if you don't have one of these, a Moonbox or the Moonbox Light, then you can just use a yoga block, which is great. So from here, you would put your foot near the edge of the block. So you have a real floor, and then you have an imaginary floor under your free foot. You want to start where your pelvis is nice and level. The legs stay straight. The movement is coming from the pelvis, so not from the leg. You're not going to be bending your knee and not from the ribs, from the pelvis. So on your inhale, you'll hike one side of the pelvis up as you drop the opposite side, keeping the leg long, and then you'll push into the block, bringing the pelvis back to that level position. So you're doing this little massage of your pelvic half around your femur head, right? And again, there's lots of choreography that you can do here. You could keep the pelvis nice and level 
and bend your standing knee and straighten it without moving the pelvis. So in that case, I start to move my leg on the steady pelvis. So to review, the first one is moving the pelvis on the steady leg. And then the second one, keeping the pelvis nice and stable and moving the leg on that stable pelvis. All right, so let's put the coconut oil in so you can see how funny I look while I'm swishing the coconut oil. So here we go, we've, we've let this sit for a little bit so it's nice and ready. So I'm gonna put it in my mouth and <laughs> do some more hip work. So this would be 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes of swishing the oil and then after you're through, you wanna spit it out, but don't spit it out in your sink or in a drain. Spit it out in your garbage can because you don't want this gunk in your, your pipes. Here we go. that this is a great way to start my day. Let me know how it goes for you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on the forum on our site. We're gonna be... Someday we're gonna be doing something. <laughs>